to LA again. Initially, I was gonna fly on um, economy class, but there was a special offer that, that I got. So that offer was to upgrade to uh, business class through my SQ upgrade. So it was an extra $1,800, but kind of expensive, but compared to the previous offer I got when I flew back from LA to Singapore, that cost around $3,300. So I thought it was relatively cheaper to upgrade from Singapore to LA to business. So I just took it. Hopefully it's worth it. From Jakarta to Singapore, I'm still flying on economy class, but uh, I chose the premium economy seat that cost an additional $14. So right now, I'm on gate 9 and my flight is on gate 1D which is on the other end of the international terminal. It's gonna take like around a 10 to 20 minute walk. So yeah, really excited to finally experience Singapore Airlines business class. minute flight but it was a little bit delayed currently it's 5 10 p.m i still have one hour and 40 minutes till my connecting flight to la so the good news is that i have access to the silver chris lounge i've been waiting to go to that lounge since i was a kid so definitely really excited but i don't have that much time to to experience the whole lounge as i heard that a lounge is very huge so right now just gonna check the gate and hopefully the gate will be somewhere near the lounge. Overall, the lounge met my expectation. It was ambient and huge. But 
it was a little bit crowded because there were a number of flights departing on the same time as my flight. Because of time constraints and I want to save up for dinner for the flight, I didn't really take a look on the main course. Instead, I just went to grab some fruits and a drink. But I hope that I will get to go back to this lounge in the future and try some of the main courses. So funny story, when I was on that flight, I was not 21 years old yet and because this flight is going to the USA, it has to follow US law when it comes to legal drinking age. So that means that I'm not allowed to drink. Unfortunately, the cabin crew realized that and just snatched my champagne away and, and I only took a really small sip.
start off dinner, every passenger in business class got the Singaporean chicken satay and because it's really tasty, it got me really excited on the next meal. For the appetizer, I went for the marinated smoked salmon. Well, that's the only option that's available. However, because I'm a big fan of salmon, I think it's extremely tasty. Meanwhile, for the mains, I had the braised beef short rib. And at this point, I've eaten so much food since I was in the lounge, so I got knocked out by a food coma. And to end dinner, I had the banana cheesecake with butter crumble, which is extremely, extremely delicious. So I was really thankful that the cabin crew woke me up from my food coma. So I. I don't think Singapore Airlines provides pajamas for business class passengers so definitely recommend you all to wear something comfortable which does not include a tuxedo I was somehow struggling to sleep on this flight so I decided to check on my computer and connect to the Wi-Fi but it took a bit of time for me to connect probably because there was poor signal around so while waiting to get Wi-Fi, I was trying to listen to some music and as I used the in-flight entertainment headphones, I started to hear something weird on it. The cabin crew overall were very responsive to this problem and the first thing they did was to give me a new set of headphones but it still didn't work so they instead reset the in-flight entertainment system on my seat. As I woke up from my 3 hour nap, it's time to get some light lunch and it starts with an appetizer of prawn with lemon scented oil. I didn't really like it too much and maybe that's because I'm just not a big fan of prawns. Because I didn't have an Asian cuisine for dinner, I decided to have one this time and I went for the Daging Masak Mera which is the Malay style braised beef. The taste of it really hits home so much and realizing that I'm gonna be in the US for a while because of college, it made me enjoy this meal and the memories that come with it. Overall, I think that Singapore Airlines business class seat is one of the widest ones in the world, making it super comfortable. It feels that I'm not in the airplane, but I'm in a lounge. And the smooth material on the seat just adds more comfort to it.